The Michael Hatfield Remax team presents Real Estate and More. Bay Area real estate is different than in all of America. And why? What's up with home buyers? What's on sellers' minds? How is the market? And much, much more. Now, here's your host, Michael Hatfield. Welcome to Real Estate and More. I promised our listeners we would talk about interesting topics and with interesting people. Our guests today are nice people working to help others. Mr. Robert Maurer, Harvard MBA, is CEO, and Leslie Fellman, Wharton MBA, is Chief of Strategy. They're founders of TIGAR, spelled T-I-G-A-R, Health Technologies. That's T-I-G-A-R, Health Technologies. This company is diligently working on methods for better treatment of type 2 diabetes and pre-diabetes as well. Bringing a wealth of knowledge and experience to this worthy quest, Robert and Leslie, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, geez, it's so uh, so nice to see you and uh, have you come in here and talk about your quest, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, being that there's 110 million people that suffer from diabetes or pre-diabetes or some form thereof, Tiger Health Technologies is working to improve that status of life for these individuals. So may you share a little bit about Tiger Health Technologies with me, uh, Robert? Sure, and that 110 million is just in the U.S. It's a huge problem globally as well. So Tiger really got started as the first system that delivers personalized medicine in diabetes. And the whole idea is to understand the cause of your situation, not just generalities, and rank order the best drugs for the doctor to make you feel better. So Leslie, how how is this project so much different than just taking an A1C check? The difference is that instead of just using blood glucose as as denominators, you're really looking at the underlying pathways. Underlying pathways are the specific biomarkers, the protein biomarkers, which really determine what the underlying cause is. And so if you could figure out if you could figure out those specific biomarkers, you can actually map those to the specific drugs to optimize treatment. So in other words, the things we test in your blood, look at how you produce insulin, do your fat and muscle tissues respond to insulin, what happens to glucose in your kidneys and liver, all that kind of thing. So we're really drilling down to understand what specifically drives your disease. Ah, it's a, it's a protocol. In other words, it's a protocol and a report the doctor gets that explains exactly how to get the best results. Mm -hmm. So the product is really already out there. The product is out there and the good news is it works in routine practice. Ah, So what is the issue if, if there's this absolute awesome product? Why are physicians not using it? That's a simple matter of awareness, and we're just beginning with pilot market, and we're out to get financed and really roll this out on a big scale. And the whole mission, again, is really enabling people to feel better. There's a lot of discouragement and shame and anger patients feel because basically you get told you have diabetes, and the impression people have is downhill from here. I'm going to try to control it so it's a little slower. But the good news is with the right drugs, you can actually turn it around. You can feel better. And that's what Tiger is interested in doing. It's pretty much the mission statement of Tiger Health Technologies. Correct. It wow. is. So in layman's terms, uh, what is uh, type 2 diabetes? So the nutshell answer is it's inability to control your energy supply. So people measure glucose or A1C. But that's all telling you what is the level of glucose, and glucose is the energy for every cell in your body. So when you have diabetes, you can't control that the way you should. Um, I know everyone seems to be looking at the numbers from those tests when they do their physicals. It's a big deal. And uh, they're trying to keep those numbers down through lifestyle, including exercise. And um, this sounds like something even better. 
Well, it is because the fundamental issue is when you first go to a doctor, they talk lifestyle. Diet, diet, exercise more, walk more. But the tough news is lifestyle is what got you there. So you're not going to get out of there if it's what got you there by not doing anything. And that's really where the right drug for the right patient comes into the picture. Mm. We get that right set of drugs to make you feel better. Wow. So it's really a whole new protocol dealing with the physician actually using this. Mm. A physician today has a standard um, cure, which is which is delineated by the American Diabetes Association. So even though they have that standard of care, the doctors don't necessarily use it because it's too complicated. Yeah, I imagine they're so busy all the time. The doctors that I've seen recently have been so busy with so many patients that uh, that could be a definite factor in getting them to deploy your product with uh, needy patients. So getting the word out there seems to be a, a big deal because it sounds like your product is absolutely amazing. It's a game changer. Listen to the patients on our website and you'll really get a picture of someone whose life was transformed. And that's really what we're trying to get out on a big scale. Mm -hmm. So what So what you really see, it's not just <clears throat> the physicians that find out about Tiger and that are using it. A lot of the times, it's the patient. The patient hears about Tiger. They want to feel better. They're currently not feeling better in the way they're being treated by their physician, and they introduce Tiger to the physician. Do most doctors know of this? No, they don't, nor do patients. So again, the whole issue is get the word out, get the success stories known, and multiply on a big scale. Mm. And the big news really is the entire analysis can be taken in by a physician in one minute. That's critical to how we design this analytical report to be used quickly because ask any doctor, save me time is what they're going to tell you. Save me time. And that's the biggest problem in diabetes. Too much to do in a typical follow-up visit. So this answers that and makes it practical. Wow. So why would they use it? It seems like it's perfect. They, I, I, they do if they hear about it. Mm, mm. But they I, love it. Once they find <clears throat> out about Tiger and they begin to use it on their patients, mm. they, wind, they wind up saying, this is terrific because it really does save time for the physician to, to really optimize treatment for their patient. In the process of developing your product, when you originally set up the company, uh, your mission was to to do certain things, and I'm sure in the process that you've had some failures, like most guys have had bumpy landings. But to come up with this product, um, can you go back and start at the beginning? How it, Tiger Health Technologies began? What was the driving force, and how it all originated? Sure. Well, we realized at the beginning that no one was looking at cause of disease and diabetes. So it'd be kind of like your mechanic said, all you got to do is look at the speedometer. I'm not going to look at the engine at all. We realized someone needed to look at the engine. That's what we do. So the first issue we really ran into was we worked with experts to begin. And we didn't realize the experts had a lot of stuff in their head. And so when we went out to typical clinicians, they said, it's not easy enough to use. It's not simple enough. You've got to make it all quick and easy. So we really had to redesign our whole report and even some of the things we measured. That was a process that took several years. And the, uh, Leslie and I really focused on easy to use because there are always two issues. No matter how good something it is in today's world, it has to save time. It has to be easy to use. And that, I think, is one of our big successes came out of that failure. Mm. So what is the actual process um, for a potential patient to, to get involved with your technology? Well, they have to simply ask for it. So the tests are reimbursed. And to the patient and the doctor, the beginning is invisible because they're getting their blood tested every three or six months anyway. We simply run more tests out of the same blood sample. So it's on the order, but as far as the patient and doctor can tell, nothing changes. It's what comes back that's really different because what's going to come back is a personalized profile of your cause of disease, what's going on under the surface. You've got eight organs interacting with each other to control your glucose level, your energy supply. 
we show what that is, and then we rank order the drug classes that are going to help you as an individual. Your company is doing something for humanity. So if there's a possibility of getting this into the hands to do some good for 110 million people, then why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we do this? I mean, why? Why not? I hope that's what all the investors say. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's daunting when you're working to get um, the financing to make this all happen, meaning getting out to the public uh, to where they're asking the doctors for this test and the doctor saying, hey, this looks like a really good good thing for me. Um, it just seems like a daunting task. But then a lot of big companies started with overcoming a daunting task for sure. They did. It's actually pretty straight ahead marketing. I've launched 14 novel diagnostic tests in my career. So what to do is pretty clear. We simply have to get the financing. Before doing that, I had to show it worked in routine practice pilot markets. We've just done that. Mm -hmm. And so we're at this really interesting transition point where we want to bring in the investors and scale. Mm. Investors out there, if you hear this this broadcast, be advised. Do you want to do something for humanity and in 110 million of our population just in the United States alone? This might be a great place to park some of your funds to see if uh, things can move along and and help people. I mean, it just seems like it's such a natural thing to have doctors do, to have patients want, and also to have investors become interested in moving this moving this along. But I mean, it's already existing now. Why wouldn't uh, you get a call from an investor saying, hey, I want to do this because this looks like a lot of sense, makes, makes a lot of sense to me. So um, to, to recap, you know, Tiger Health at this moment in time, it actually makes the, the actual patient better, makes them feel better because it they has, are better. They are better. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It just seems like it, it's totally, totally a, an amazing type of product. So, you know, I, I think, keep thinking back how this got started. And I, I really, I just really want to know. Leslie, you went to Wharton, you have an MBA from Wharton. And what did you do there to earn your status that you have? So, so when, we, when I went to Wharton and got my MBA, they had a lot of healthcare interest. In fact, there were some, some committees that I really got involved with. And after that, I went on to Wall Street and worked with Lehman, Lehman Brothers, and they had a whole, they had a whole area department just on healthcare. And I was doing healthcare IPOs, and I was doing healthcare consulting, and it was just so fascinating. When I became a founder of Tiger Health and really running strategy, it was my strong background in finance that really helped this company move. You know, the two of you hooked up. How did you ever meet Robert? I met Robert through some people that really were very passionate about diabetes, and they knew about my healthcare background, and it seemed to be an excellent opportunity to really jump on. And here I was a founder, and I saw that it was a wonderful way to bring a new product to the market in such a worthy cause. Harvard MBA, this is where your background was, and you developed this idea that something could be done with diabetes. I did, and, and I like building businesses. I've already did, uh, already did three before I did this one, and learned a lot about what to do, what not to do, how do you keep the ship afloat when a torpedo hits it, all the critical things in building a business. Uh, and yeah, interestingly, we actually, with the scientific founders, spent four years before we founded the company on feasibility. Could we do medically effective products at the price point we needed with the speed of use? All three things were critical. It had to work. It had to be easy to use. It had to be at the right price. And it was only after we had concluded, yes, we thought we could, that I founded the company in 2008 after four years of work. It pretty quickly became apparent that there was a lot more to do than what I could handle, and that's when I asked Leslie to step in 
And then we brought in other people that are recruited as well. Yeah, they, having the finance background and especially the experience with IPOs, would that is very valuable in something that I can see will need to be um, you'll, you're going to need to take this to a different level in order to get the word out to use the product and to really make it a, a really great thing from humanity overall. I can see that. The uniqueness of the product is one thing. It's part of the excitement, actually, for us is having something that no one else has. <clears throat> That's the function of a very long time to develop this. You have to figure out what to measure. You have to validate that the components, the ingredients work. Then you have to put the whole thing together into a report product. So it really has a 10 year development cycle to put one of these things out there. Wow. And we've got some pretty exciting patent positions as well, uh, including the fundamental design of the algorithm is patented. Oh, so not anybody could just go out there and do it. Investors, you hear this? Um, this is a perfect opportunity for you. Um, we'll give you some contact information at the end of this, but uh, it is patented. It has um, patented technology that um, you know would protect any investors. So that's a that's a really good thing with a great product like this. Um, it's also flat out hard to do. Yes, I would imagine you to, to patent something like that. Technology is is a, quite an endeavor. How long did it did it take? Well, as I mentioned, we spent four years to figure out, could we even do it? And anyone doing this has to figure out what to measure, so you can't short circuit that. And then all of the validation work with the different classes of drugs, you know, there's no way to short circuit that. And then you have to develop a reporting platform. So a report doesn't just happen. You have to take in data. You have to have a way to turn it into something that's usable by the doctor. Mm, very interesting. Last night we had dinner with a fellow that has type two diabetes. He says, "You know, the the lifestyle is one thing, but you know, I don't. I still have to eat. I still have to have a a cocktail once in a while. And the one thing that works with me with the parameters that I've been given by the doctor is is just simply exercising more and more and more. And I hadn't been doing that. And so he's a very good." Client, I potential client for for Tiger. I would think. I, I would think he would be a very good one. I mean, he just an amazing man, just phenomenal guy. So um, I'm, I'm sure that's the case because most of the time lifestyle is important, but not enough. Yeah. And the key missing component is get the drugs that address your cause of disease. It's different for everybody. It really, I know the emotions and the frustrations with the treatment of diabetes. Um, we hear people, I hear people talking about it if they actually have the affliction. And I would think that I, mean, I would be the first person to to go in and uh, say, hey, let me try what you have. And the way to do that again is to uh, ask your doctor, to, hey doc, I have diabetes or I have pre-diabetes, I want you to you know, explore this for me please. And uh, go to Tiger Health Technologies and see what, uh, what can, can be done to make you feel better. Exactly, let's yeah. figure out exactly what I have and address it and I'll feel better. So basically Tiger changes the whole game uh, for people with this affliction. It does. Rather than slowly getting worse and worse and getting complications and going on insulin, there's a different route where you feel better. And actually, you listen to the patients on our website. As one of them said, my body can do things it couldn't do a few years ago. For all of us getting older, that's the greatest news you can hear. Mm -hmm. Actually get better. Some of us prefer the term becoming a better vintage. <laughs> <laughs> like a fine wine or so. You know, one of the things that keeps going through my mind is tell me about the team itself. You know, tell me about the people that have helped you bring this to the market. So the team consists of two groups. One is the executive team. Most of our relationships have gone back anywhere from 10 to 30 years. That includes marketing and business development, all those kinds of things. And I think most important, our medical director is world renowned, Barry Ginsburg. So that's one group, and then we have advisors as well. And these advisors include the top endocrinologists who write the standard of care guidelines for the Association of Clinical Endocrinologists and the American Diabetes Association. 
So they are the people who put together the expert judgment that's included in our core and make it a useful living system a doctor can know is state of the art. Mm, very interesting. This is just not in America, too. It's in other countries in Europe. Has, uh, has the product uh, reached Europe yet? Only in uh, limited numbers in Germany, but yes, we're over there. Yeah. But what's important is we do have our patents in Europe. The patents are in Europe. The patents are in America. This is a patented technology ready for Correct. Uh, to move it to the next level, I can see. So the people that help you on a day-to-day -day basis, um, the people that run the tests, and how, do that, how does that all work to come up with a report that is so important? So when a patient gets their blood sample that goes off to a lab, we don't actually run the tests. We simply use the data that comes from the tests. So that data goes into your personal profile, which also includes some demographic information, your sex, for example. That patient profile, which is the basis of the personalization, is linked to expert decision rules that comes from the advisors, which in turn is linked to the drug class characteristics. What does each type of drug do? So it's a three-way linkage. And that's what delivers the personalization. It's kind of like if I only had your last name, I wouldn't necessarily have just you. But if I have your name and I have your social security number and I have your mobile cell, I can find a very specific profile. I have exactly you. That's the key to Tiger, delivering that kind of personalization for your medicine. Hmm. Wow. So personalized medicine, for people that have pre-diabetes as well as type 2 diabetes. This is a really great product. I, I just, I can't get over the fact that it's not being deployed throughout the nation at this at this time. That's next. I hope so, I hope so. So on the side of investors, what is being done to move it along with the funding that's necessary to support a product of this uh, this value? We're really pushing outreach to institutional investors. So that's primarily VCs and family offices because the next stage is really to put the foundation for a full launch together and get out on a big scale. So there's some things we need to do for that. We're targeting a $4 million raise for the first, how does that round work? You, you say $4 million raise, is this the first round that you have? That uh, it is because we basically hibernated through the pandemic and restarted the company. So we have a clean slate and typically an institutional investor will come in for say 40% of it, half of it and bring a couple friends in along with it. And then we got the 4 million. So we have to find those people. Yeah, it seemed like a wouldn't the uh, the major healthcare institutions want to help you? They do, but typically they come in a little bit later. So as I mentioned, we're just at the beginning of routine practice. Then we have to scale to lots of individual doctors and small clinics. Then you scale to the Kaisers and Intermountains and those type of places. You know, the first time that I met you and Leslie and we talked about this, I have to tell you that uh, a lot of it just went way over my head, way over my head. But now, after hearing what you have said today, it is such a valuable product for the world to see. And um, I, quite frankly, I'll pray that they come to uh, support your efforts, which are, it looks to me like, you know, a big part of your lifetime. I think you've, you've had products of medical nature that have came out in the past and you've worked on those. Yes. Uh, but this one here was one that took four years just before it got past the, the beginning uh, during that feasibility study, I think you called. Yep. But now it's, it's, uh, it's rocking and rolling and it's, it's just waiting to be taken to that next level so that we can, not we, so that you can help 110 million people feel better. Literally harness the power of Tiger. Yeah. So is there anything that you could add to this? Um, I, I noticed that uh, a Tiger spelled a little bit differently. It's T-I-G-A-R. It's not not like the animal. It's Tiger. 
but it's pronounced Tiger. Tiger Health Technologies. And you can... Yeah, um, I can tell you, it actually stands for Treatment Integration and Guidance Analysis Reporting, which is what we do. Would you say that one more time? Yeah. <laughs> Treatment Integration and Guidance Analysis Reporting. That's what the acronym stands for. But of course, the important thing is that it's pronounced Tiger, and it has a lot of power. And if people just remember that, that's really the critical thing. So what are the actual patients that have had the use of Tiger Health Technologies product, what what are they saying about it after that care? Literally that it changed their life. So all these people were already treated and they were in decline. They were facing getting complications in the future, a bleak picture. And when we got them on the optimal treatment, they turned around and all of a sudden feeling better they re-engaged in a lot of things. More excitement about thinking of lifestyle, their bodies could do things that they couldn't do before, and they went on to a positive track, not a negative track. And you can listen to what they have to say on our website. Robert Maurer, Leslie Fellman, thank you so much for being on the show today. And thank you so much for hosting. Thank you, Michael. Couldn't be for a better purpose. And I keep thinking that, man, there's got to be some investor that realizes the value of, of this product. It's already done. It's already out there. The research, the feasibility, um, it's patented technology. It just seems like not only would a patient that had this issue really want to have it happen, it seems like they would go to their doctor immediately and say, hey, I want you to perform Tiger's, I, I want you to perform this product on me so that we can treat me better. Would, would you object to that doctor? And then at the same time, let's reach out to any investors that might be interested in pushing this product where it needs to be to help all of humanity. So we're out of time today. Man, it has went fast. Uh, thank you, uh, Robert Maurer and Leslie Fellman for all you do in helping people deal with diabetes type two, as well as pre-diabetes. You're very special people to take on such a formidable task. You can reach, if you're an investor or a patient, you can reach uh, these qualified, wonderful people at info at tigerhealth.com. And it's info at tiger, T-I-G-A-R, health.com or 925-376-3128. You've been listening to The Real Estate and More Show on KGO 810 AM, The Spread. And I'm Michael Hatfield, your host. Tune in Saturday mornings at 9 to talk about the real estate market, topics of the day, and interesting people. We'll be right back with our next special guest. Stay tuned. <music>